I moved here in 2008 and I met a young woman at my local GSA. She was the one who really pushed me into the LGBT community and got me to become familiar with stuff like drag and RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, in 2010 at Westfield State, I tried doing drag for my first time. Um, and it was very insightful. It was very interesting to see that there's a difference between not just doing drag or being trans or a boy dressing up like a girl. Uh, that's not very black and white. There's a lot more that goes into it and it's not just something we choose to do, it's an art form, you know? So a lot of the videos you'll see, I'll do Lumpy Space Princess or I'll do uh, Princess Peach. And that's my style. I like to dissect the characters and use pieces for my performance while striving to, striving to stay true to them. So that's how I do it. Because there aren't so many areas and so many places that you can come out and openly perform, Divas has really become a tool, not only for myself, but for a lot of performers to try it out once and call it a day, or to be able to move forward and start creating a name for themselves. So it's very depressing, not to necessarily not have a place to perform, but to kind of lose that safe zone is kind of scary. You know, it's always been the place where me and my friends felt comfortable, and now we might not find another place that has that level of comfort. Without divas, I don't believe I would be as far as I am now, and it is freaky to be recognized sometimes, working at Faces especially, where they're like, didn't I see you last weekend? But you weren't really you. Good times back, I want those grand old dates. I want those twisted nights, the sick, the lights, the wild small breaks. It does kind of suck that our community stands a little divided, at least in my opinion. So you'll see different groups of queens who are working independently of each other. So I would like to see in the future us be able to work together to find one venue or a couple of venues to really not let the craft die out, to make it work for all of us, even though we have different styles. Drag has a way of adapting and evolving to fit the audience that we're seeing now who like seven to ten shows, who like brunches, you know? It's very interesting to see how people are making it work, but it still kind of sucks that we're losing, you know, our home, so to speak.